Hey, what's going on, guys? RS Games here, back with another episode of Emerge NYC. How are you all doing today? I hope everything is well with you. Today, we're playing in the Montgomery County map. Uh, I took your suggestion. Someone suggested it down below. I don't know the commenter off the top of my head, but he's like, hey, just spawn in like one or a couple trucks that you're going to use. Don't spawn them all. And the lag will definitely resolve itself. Oh. Well, okay. Where is this one at? We're going to have to probably take that. I'd say. Um, if the map works. Hmm. It's not working. Oh. Why is it not? There we go. Where's the call at? It's way over there. Okay. Well, we got a long response. But uh, we'll... Uh, Talk on the way. Maybe. Alrighty. We're going to get rolling here. So one thing quick I want to say, guys, if you haven't done so already, you know the drill. Smash that like button and hit that subscribe button to see more Emerge NYC content. Uh, we do a new episode every Sunday. I think here shortly we're going to be starting to do some multiplayer episodes. Uh, you guys seem to like the multiplayer episodes of Into the Flames, so we're going to go ahead and do it in Emerge NYC 2. Because I think it'll just add to the game. You guys have absolutely killed my September subscriber goal of 100 subs. I am so very thankful for each and every one of you that have hit that button. And the ones that continue to do so. I'm not really uh, setting super... Like a goal every month now. I'd like to see if we can hit 500 by the end of the year. Um, I don't like beg for subscribers, but I want to grow an awesome community here with you guys. want to be able to interact with you and have just a great area on YouTube. That's my goal, and I think we're doing pretty good so far. So without further ado, enough with that talk, and let's get talking about this game. Definitely looks a lot better. Well, I mean, the graphically, I still got them turned down a little bit, but it's a lot smoother now. Just using one truck, the leg isn't so atrocious. So I'm going to probably need an ambulance for this, honestly. But we'll pretend like, we'll get there, we'll do patient care. And then we'll pretend like the ambulance and come pick them up and I'll just clear the call. I could go further in depth with it, but I think for today we're just going to pretend like we're being a first responders. Technically, we're a volunteer service, but we're going to pretend like uh, this is like an on-call or paid paid uh, position for this truck. I really love the ladder in Montgomery County. This Quint is super nice. I love all the LED lights that they got along the stick. That's really cool. <laughs> These curves are a little uh, hard to turn on, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Ooh, do we got to take the back roads? I should probably check. Probably check. Yep, we should probably take this way. Ooh. It's like an older style ladder truck. I think this truck is super cool. It's got a great sound to it. Alright, we're not super far out from the scene. Hopefully we can get here and take care of this guy. That would be fantastic. I'm not too familiar with the EMS side of things in this game. I do struggle a bit with them, but we'll try our best for today. And then uh, hopefully we get something a little cooler. I mean, not saying that this isn't going to be cool, but something like a fire or something. Can maybe spawn in a tanker and see how that goes. All right, so truck one is on scene. We're going to be out looking for our patient. I think... Just to start off here, we're going to go ahead and grab our EMS bag. I don't know exactly where it's at, so just give me one second here. You know, I work this truck all the time. I should uh, definitely... Nope, that's not what we wanted. We want that. I always get messed up. I work this truck all the time. I should know where my gear is at. All right, here's our guy. I don't see the propane tank, but there's something definitely wrong. Okay, he's got... Uh, Lower arm deformity, uh, possible fracture. His blood pressure is 125 over 85, so that's pretty good. His pulse is 68. A little down there, but that's okay. Respirations is good. Let's see. It doesn't give you any SPO2 or nothing like that. So 
All right, let's see what we can do for this guy. So we're going to splint that fracture. I mean, he's got a good temperature and everything. Blood pressure is different in that arm. Oh, there we go. It's just updating. That's all. That's still pretty good. We'll maybe give him some fluids just to help him out. Uh, you know, give him some morphine too. Got to make him feel better at least. Will that uh, give me an SPO2? Not looking like it. All right, so we requested transport. We're just going to wait for them to come pick up this guy, and I'll meet you on the next call. All righty, so we got an outside structure on fire of some sort here. Not exactly sure what's on fire, but we're going to be figuring it out here shortly. That siren is really loud. Oh my goodness. Alright, it should be just right over here. Oh yeah, we definitely got something outside on fire. That is for sure. Alrighty, let's see if we can get a stop on it here quick. Hopefully we can be able to hook the hydrant with this truck. Can we make entry through the back? Actually, it might be better off going over here. We can shut our siren off. Truck one is on scene. Let's see, do we got a supply line up here? That's a quick attack. I wonder if we have any uh, supply lines on this truck. We may not, honestly. And if we don't... Um, let's see. Hopefully we have enough... Oh, wait. There we go. Supply line. Perfect. We do have one on this truck. All right. We're going to get that hooked up. We'll grab the hydrant wrench if we got one. We should have one. Right? Let's we'll open all these up because I am not, uh, not being very smart today and I don't know where any of my stuff is. I hope it's in here. Hydrant wrench. There we go. Perfect. We'll get this hydrant turned on and then we'll grab an attack line. Um, maybe. There we go. Okay, well, let's grab a quick attack. I don't know how I got my thermal out. Oh, probably because I went like this. Yep. All right. Cue to grab that attack line. We don't have water. Why don't we have water? All right, turn on this pump. Give me some water. We're going to run back to... We already got our air pack on. I don't know if we'll need it for this one. We'll run back there and start making a knock on this. Hopefully this... Well, we're just going to drag it through the fence. That's fine. We'll pretend like we got some helpers throwing it over the fence for us or something. I don't think there's any real threat to other exposures at this point in time. But not saying that a spark couldn't land on that house. We'll have to just double check that. This is just a kind of a small fire on there. I'm going to call it a gazebo. Uh, it's like an outdoor patio, I guess, is probably a better term for it. Got a little bit of fire still showing. I don't know why the water is kind of being buggy here, making some weird noises. All right. Well, I think that is out. Um, I think the house is fine, too. Looks like it. We should have been far enough away. The house should be fine. So we'll run back. We'll get our, I'll get everything torn down. And I'll meet you guys on the next call. Alrighty guys. We just got paged to a structure fire down here. Truck one will be in route. The Quint. We should be able to handle everything with just this truck, hopefully. So we'll get rolling down there. Get our big boy sirens on. Make sure they know we're coming. That's the main thing.
Alrighty. Let's see, I think I want to take a right right here. Yep. It's kind of hard to turn this big ladder truck through here. Alright, we already got smoke showing. Truck one, you can show us on scene. We got a possible two-story structure fire here. We're going to be uh, out investigating. I wonder if we can make a quick attack on this. And I think we're going to want our stick probably on this side. We got a lot of a lot of fire damage there. All right. I'm going to just pause time real quick. Oh, that does not work the way I wanted it to. Okay, so we got to be really quick. Uh, we got to go this side. Actually, while we're doing that, grab that wrench. See if I can get quick at this. All right. Uh, it's a different button, I swear, every time. Our closest hydrant is right here. Oop, oh, nice and close. So we'll go ahead and uh, hook that guy up, turn that on, drop our wrench. And we're going to grab this quick attack off the front as well as our halligan. All right, we're going to go do that. We're going to turn that pump on. And uh, we're going to grab this quick attack. All right, looks like the doors may be open for us already. So we might have easy entry into this structure. And that is okay. Looks like just a lot of fire damage at this point. Not a lot of visible flames, but we got to find this fire. And my guy's like out of breath. All right. I just want to cool this area down here if, if it's possible. And it should be possible. All right. Our fire is definitely going to be upstairs. I didn't have enough hose for this. So I think that's hindering my abilities a little bit. Oh, yeah. We got active fire upstairs. Okay. Truck 1's making an interior attack. Oh. What button's the mask button? Um, hello. Um, no. We, we want our nozzle. Thank you. Um, it's one of these. I could have swore. There we go. All right. Our guy's a cowboy here. He's going with all that Nomex hood. He's like, I don't care about burns. All right, we'll push up here. Let's see. Is there still fire in this room? There is. Okay, get in here. Get that attack. Get that put out. We don't want it to spread any further throughout the structure. We may need a fan to clear some of the smoke out. I'm a little concerned. Uh-oh, we got a guy. All right. We're just, uh, let's see. Can I grab him? Yes, I can. All right. We're bringing him out. We got to hurry. So we found a patient inside. We are currently rescuing him. All right. I think the fire is pretty much out, honestly. Maybe not. Ah, oh, yeah, it's got to be fairly out. So we're going to put this guy down. Uh, I believe our... No, nope, that's not the button I wanted. <laughs> uh, there we go. That's the button I wanted. Sorry. Sometimes the key bindings uh, mess with me a little bit. You guys know the drill by now. All right. Patient is not breathing. Black slit around the mouth. Audible trouble breathing. Okay, that's a little weird. Um, his pulse is zero. Okay. Uh, how do I... Will that work? Can you not do, like, CPR? Wait, maybe if I go like this. Um. Maybe? I don't... I'm not exactly sure. Alright, let's see what our monitor says. No heart rate, SPO2, 15%. All right, I don't know how long he was in there for. All right, it's not really giving me what I want. There, wait. <laughs> okay, that's that's a little weird. Um, no. Wait, I had it. Ah, uh, lay patient on the back. It's not really what I want. <laughs> Help. 
All right. Well, I, I, I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying here. Um, I don't know what is going on. Yeah, as soon as I try to do anything with them, it just bugs out. All right. Well, the fire is definitely out. We're going to go mop that up quick. We're just going to throw that bag down. We're just going to double check everything. But I believe it is completely out. So we'll run in there. Maybe get the thermal imaging camera out. All right. How do I use this thing? There we go. Ah, a little bit of hot. I guess there's nothing like... I've never used the thermal camera in this game, so I... I guess I can't uh, be really, really good with it. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird with the helmet on. I don't see any hot spots, so I think we got it taken care of. I don't think we have to open the roof or anything. Uh, I'm going to call the coroner for that guy. I don't think he survived. Yeah, I got too much smoke inhalation and was unconscious and not breathing for too long. I don't think he's savable. Unfortunately, it happens. Anyways, guys, that's probably going to be the end of today's episode. It was a little bit shorter, but uh, we got in a, a few calls, played it for a little bit. I'm going to keep these episodes a little bit shorter so that way we don't run out of a lot of content for it. I'm not necessarily saying this game is drying up, but uh, the shorter the videos are, the more that we can keep making on them and doing different calls. So thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.